have. So I'm going to give you a tour of the garden layout now. It is huge. Um, absolutely huge. I stayed up most of the night last night working on it. Um, haven't been able to film today. I've been busy. So uh, I did have to rob a piece of track right here. But I'm going to order some tonight. Um, so now we have this layout set up massive. Now I done some big improvements yesterday. I went and I washed, or last night actually, I drove all my train cars into my building, which I'm gonna show you guys how I can do now. I've got an awesome loop. Um, so I took all my cars in there because they'll never get rained on again. They'll never get dirty again. I cleaned and serviced everything. I put all new wheels on every one of my locomotives. So yeah, it was a good day. So guys, you know, we still have our original perimeter loop um, and now, you know, we've got this Y that comes off right through here and we actually loop into the building, come back out right here. So I'm gonna go give this thing a run right quick. I'm gonna show you guys. Um, I'll have to yard, well, I say yard, but we'll have to park this train off to the side. Let me cut my, um, now that my, my, now that my layout is so big, I really wish that I would have put um, uh, what am I trying to say like automatic switches or um, like power switches let's see here let me get this train moved in here it was hard to do it with one hand so here we go we'll go ahead and just park this one off um, go, eventually we'll park them both in the building but in order to do what I want to do with just two hands, I'm only going to run one train through the uh, through the loop. So just for aesthetic reasons, let's just park this one uh, up here above our bridge. I'm going to just shut these off. All right. I'm gonna just set these right here and let's go fire up the other engine. All right, guys, check this out. I got a a, a ton of track from a, uh, a local antique mall. And I pretty much spent all day yesterday working on this. So, let me get out here where I can get this thing fired up. Yes. Guys, check it out. Uh, let's go ahead and throw this switch before we forget. So now, we have the ability to park all of our, at least all of our train engines inside the building um, and probably 85% of our cars but the good thing is, is our cars will be suspended on our wooden bridges here. Um, I plan on cleaning this up a lot better. It works for right now. So guys, check it out. Hopefully I remember to throw that switch up there. Here we go. I love the way that the train looks coming across this uh, Oh no, one of our cars came detached. Maybe it'll catch up and hitch. Nope. Um, so that, that'll be a cold car. I've been culling all the cars that won't stay on uh, or won't stay coupled. This has been a, um ongoing process. So all the train cars that are having issues, I'm either wiring the coupler shut or I'm gluing them. Um, I know you could probably rebuild them or fix them or whatever, but I've had a lot of problems with some of these older, older cars. And that's why uh, the CSX runs some really nice, really good rolling stock. This one here kind of like runs the, I'm not gonna say junky cars, but the cars that need a little bit of help. I'm gonna figure out why we lost that hitch. I wanna get this thing hooked back up and we'll make a lap around All right. it. We're all hooked back up now. Um, you know, I'm not casting shade on the poor little rail car. Things happen. Um, so I did sort all of my rail cars yesterday. On both trains, I weighed everything out. 
I started with the heaviest to the lightest on both ones. So that dramatically solved probably 90% uh, of all the problems that I have been having with the curves and stuff like that and rolling cars off, you know, over the curve. Obviously, uh, I had an issue there, but I, I, we're going to watch it and just see if we have another bump. There, there's no telling what it could have been. I may not have had it hooked upright. I'm going to climb that. I love it going inside the building there. I spent a little bit today cleaning up outside, too. Uh, I got to clean up my little tunnel doors and all that. So I'll show you guys um, what I did. It was late last night. I didn't have any means of getting a a, a, a splice piece. So I actually made one. Um, I just took the pin out of this one and this one. I expanded on this one, shoved that in there, pinned it, pinned it, and it works great. And then I accidentally hit my track right here with a hammer as I was putting a nail in. Luckily, we're good. It just adds a little bit of noise. So, uh, yeah, guys, I hope y'all like it. I mean, the video doesn't really show you guys how big this layout is. I'm going to walk back up here into the yard and give you guys like an actual look at how big everything is look at how smooth this thing runs i love this tubular track um absolutely love it if i had enough if i could find enough i would sell every bit of this fast track and i'd go back tubular track um with this tubular track of course i just coated it with the no ox and um it'll never rust look at there God, that thing looks good. I even put a super in it, which is a, you know, a radius right here where it'll help roll in. Man, that thing is running smooth now. Since I worked on all this stuff and got everything <coughs> serviced, it's good. All right, guys, so if this gives you an idea of how large my layout is, um, I'm gonna guess probably at least 100 foot from there to just way more than 100 foot. I just have to walk it off. But you can see how long it takes for the train to uh, to make its way there. And, um, yeah, it would be really cool if we could figure out how we could run, like, that top loop, like, run a train on that loop while one is running on this other one. But we wind up having to to build, like, a, a whole other section of track, which we're not going to do that. But now we technically have two trains and um, if I'm out here running them, um, you know, or if I got some help, I can run two trains at one time because we have enough track to uh, keep them spaced. But yeah, guys, just going to give y'all a little update of uh, what we got going on here. Uh, I'm going to go throw this one here inside the building and lock her down for the night. So just a quick little update video. I hope you all have a good day. We'll see you.